Welcome to Lunch with Maria, dishing inspiration with women making a difference in our community. I'm your host, Maria Criticos. Today is all about giving you a reason to go after your dreams and make them a reality. My first guest is Meredith Powell. She is an award-winning entrepreneur and co-founder of The Next Big Thing, a charity for young entrepreneurs. BC Business Magazine named her as one of the top 35 most influential women in business. Also joining us is fashion designer Tatiana Golota. Despite having overcome many physical challenges, including being diagnosed with a brain tumor, at the age of 44, she has walked the runway of Vancouver Fashion Week as a plus-size model and has been featured in Vogue magazine. Our third guest, Caroline McGilvery, is best known as the founder of Beauty Night Society, an award-winning registered Canadian charity. In 16 years, Beauty Night has given more than 60,000 life makeovers to women who live in poverty. Meredith, you work with a lot of entrepreneurs. What would you say is the biggest piece of advice that you would give someone who has an idea and wants to build a business around it? Maria, I'd say it's really simple. You know, it's not just about ideas, it's about making ideas happen, right? So it's great to have these big uh, plans of what you might ideas do. Ideas without execution are useless. Exactly. Yes. So you have a vision, <laughs> now start executing on that vision. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just a small step, make sure you take that step forward. Get going. So get going. Get going and keep going. Yeah. Uh, you've seen a lot of businesses succeed and others fail. Uh, what, would, what do you think is the secret uh, to success for any entrepreneur? And there's always like grit, being resilient, being courageous, but also talking to your customer. I'd say a lot of the young entrepreneurs that I see, um, they have a great idea, but they need to do more customer discovery. So make sure you're out there having lots of conversations, not just with investors and peers, but also your end customer. Yes, I like that. Mm -hmm. Talk to your people. Yeah, absolutely. Tatiana, you've competed for and won mm -hmm. Mrs. BC. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, you are now currently running for Mrs. Canada Globe. That's right. Good luck with that. I know Thank it's in you. March, right? Yes. Yes. So what has this experience taught you and what would you like to share with other women watching today? The main thing that I wanted to project is that at certain age, at 40 or after, we are not dead or behind the scenes. <laughs> of course we're not dead. Right? <laughs> but stigma around the beauties and pageants are usually younger and mm -hmm. slimmer. Mm -hmm. So you can be bigger and you can be older, which you're wiser yes. not to have a cat in this or anything <laughs> like that, right? So for me, the experience um, was amazing. I was at that time when I received Mrs. British Columbia title. I was much bigger than right now. I was size 16. Which, you look wonderful. I, I have no you. idea how much you weigh. You look beautiful. So. <laughs> it's not about size anymore. It's yeah. internal beauty, right? Yes, yes. But for the experience running for the uh, representing British Columbia on the national level for the Mrs. Canada Globe, um, I learned that there is any possibility if you put your mind to it, Anything you can always achieve it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. for three months, for example, with all my limited ability, I've been working out and kind of like eating healthy <laughs> to fit in that damn suit, <laughs> bedding suit. Um, uh, so we're going to keep our anything. eye on you, Miss Tatiana. We're keeping <laughs> our eye you. on you. Good luck with that. Caroline, let's talk about Beauty Night. What prompted you to start it and how was the idea, uh, how did the idea come to life? I started volunteering in the downtown east side to do research for a film project I was working on and while I was volunteering at a shelter I ended up doing one of the girls hair and makeup one night to make her feel better when she came in after dealing with severe trauma and afterwards she thanked me for making her feel human which got me thinking if I can do this what happens to you? people who are actually hair and makeup people together and it could really make a huge difference and we found out it was a great way to reintroduce touch to victims of violence. And you have made a huge difference and Thank a big you. impact in this community. What would you say to someone that doesn't feel that they have the power to make a difference? <laughs> I think anybody can make a difference. You just have to believe it's possible. And as long as you're breathing, it's not too late to make a difference, <laughs> quite frankly. Like that. Yeah. Last time I checked, I was breathing, yes. This okay. is a good thing. This is a good thing, yes. <laughs> Caroline, thank you. Ladies, it is time now for our rapid fire questions. So two words of advice that you would give to your younger self. Meredith. Ooh, hustle hard. Hustle hard, I like it. Tatiana. Mm, take the opportunities and just do it. <laughs> take the opportunities. Two words of advice, do it. Do it. I like that. Caroline. Don't stop. 
Don't stop. I love it. Ladies, what is the secret to success? In one word, Caroline. Hope. Choice. Gratitude. I love it. Describe yourself in one word, Meredith. Creative. <laughs> I would say happy. Happy. Innovative. Innovative. I love it. Ladies, thank you so much. It has been a pleasure being with you today. That's it for now, everyone. It's time for a commercial break. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Lunch with Maria, dishing inspiration with women making a difference.